Okay, sanitation workers are back on the job today after a month-long strike has officially come to an end. Republic Services reached an agreement for a new contract with the union. Chula Vista City Council member Jill Galvez, she's with us this morning to give us all the updates that we need to know. Are we breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief? We certainly are, Jenny. Thank you so much. We are so relieved that the workers in Republic came to an understanding and the workers started rolling out this morning in trucks, uh, picking up all the mountains of trash that have accumulated during the strike. Okay, so let's kind of make a clarification here because we're not getting the contract details yet, correct? Um, we did get, um, I, I think, a statement was released yesterday, uh, but I'm not really at liberty to discuss that. But, um, but they did come to a, a settlement, um, and the contract was ratified by their members, and so they're working today. Yeah, and so we, I, I understand um, they had some wage increase increases, some improvements in health insurance, but from my understanding, it did fall short a little bit of what they wanted, but it was enough to finally, you know, get things back in action. And thank goodness it was. And now it's a time for healing. It's a time for all hands on deck and get the mountains of trash out of Chula Vista into the landfill where it belongs. That vote, I believe, Local 542, uh, 137 to 70, some city workers saying, listen, uh, we were fighting for respect, uh, but this impacts our community. So they were still thinking of their community saying, hey, listen, we, we have to get this done. We have to get to work. It's very true. And, and some of the workers, they just couldn't afford um, to be out on strike much longer. Uh, but we will continue to make sure that the trucks and vehicles that drive through our, our community are safe. That's something that I'm very concerned about. I lear learned a lot uh, during this strike and during this work stoppage. And so I, have a, I still have a lot of serious questions about the working conditions, the conditions of the vehicles. Uh, but most importantly, that trash will be picked up very quickly. And if it's not, we are gonna continue to, to assess fines and penalties on Republic Services. And for our ratepayers, um, I fully expect them to get a full month's refund for December. That's what I'm demanding and that's what they deserve. Um, city workers, are they gonna continue to kind of aid in the cleanup this week as we're kind of getting back to normal, if you will? We're, we're talking about that later this morning um, and probably tonight as well at our city council meeting, but there's a whole lot of filth that's accumulated, uh, in, especially in the multifamily apartment complexes in Chula Vista, um, uh, trash that did not make it into the bins. Um, and so um, so we're we're still working on those um, those areas and assisting as possible, yes. You know, Republic Services is what, the, the second largest trash hauler in the U.S. They made $8.3 billion revenue, I believe, in nine months, uh, you know, in last year. So they're bringing in a lot of net income here. Is there any way that, you know, and they are the main source of trash pickup for Chula Vista, that, you know, another company would ever get involved, private company? Uh, Republic is the only uh, provider. Uh, they have an exclusive franchise for not only Chula Vista residents and businesses, but everybody within the city of Chula Vista is, is, is required to use Republic services. And so, so that's a pretty significant um, commitment that our city has to Republic services. And, um, and, and so we have a lot of questions in terms of what that commitment means um, from this point forward uh, for not only Chula Vista residents, but also our businesses, our schools, and everyone else that's been affected by this, this work stoppage. Yeah, well, speaking of an impact, 52,000 homes, 2,000 businesses, so that's, that's a huge impact. So we've have, we have a little bit of progress, but not a full you know, closure on this chapter. So as before we wrap up, what can we expect to happen next? Well, I've, I'm still receiving reports of trash that has gone uncollected for a month. Um, I mean, keep in mind that none of the yard waste and most of the recycling has not been picked up since before the strike. Um, coupled that with trash pickup dates missed all throughout last week, it's going to be um, a really challenging couple of weeks. But it's our responsibility to make sure that all that trash is picked up this week. I can't guarantee that. I can't make any promises. Uh, and I wouldn't expect Republic to make any promises. But I do expect that we will be continuing to enforce fines and penalties for everything that's not picked up. And so as residents um, approach the regular trash day, and, and when trash is not picked up or is not uh, picked up that day, please escalate, please contact us and let us know what is happening on your street, at your home, in your neighborhood.
Oh, just I, some of us were making the stink face back here just thinking about all that trash piling up. I mean, it, you know, and what it's going to leave behind. And then these poor workers have to deal with that accumulation. So um, lots still to get through, but we appreciate you being with us, Jill, um, you know, and hopefully more, more good news to come out of this situation. We certainly hope so. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you, Jill.